Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how you can make your projects look much better and uh, add some neat uh, visual effects. So would you like this flat or with a shadow and uh, outline? So this looks much, much better, right? Let's get into it. Here we have the new project. First, let's rename it Neat Visual Effects or anything you want, right? Now, uh, let's see what we can do, right? So first we'll get uh, to the looks and set, right? And then let's go to brightness and set it around 100, okay? And let's do it. Now you can see that this scratch card just disappeared, right? Um, but it's there, right? This scratch card is still there, but it is just white. See, so you can see that it's white, right? So it is white. And if I oppositely do minus 100, now you can see it becomes black, right? Now I'll again duplicate uh, the set block and uh, try with the ghost. Right, the brightness is already there. Let's try 90. So now you can see that we have a silhouette of the R scratch cut. And also we'll increase uh, the size to around 250 so we can see it better. Right, so to clear, you can uh, go to clear. So this might be useful, right? So these two blocks can make a shadow. So you can see this is a shadow, right? So how do we just do it? So we are gonna use the pen extension, right? So you're gonna go to the add down and then click on pen, right? So now we'll just stamp it on the stage, right? So we'll just stamp it. Let's see. Okay, now you can see that it's stamped and I'll clear the graphic effects. So now you can see that our scratch grid has a shadow, right? It looks much, much better. So this happens. And then you can grab the original scratch grid and here's graphic effects. Okay, so we learned the concept. Now let's automate it. Yep. So we'll go to events and go to when clicked, right? And then first we'll erase everything. And we'll create a custom block as stamp shadow, right? And we'll not do run without screen refresh. And you can put this here, right? So now we will just put it, right? So now uh, you'll think that all is fine, but you need to add some movement, right? So we'll do change Y, right? Okay. Uh, change y by uh, 20 okay and then again we will change uh, the original scratch kit to minus 20 okay and then we will start okay okay we need to add it here now let's run it now you can see the shadow appearing right so I think uh, that uh, Okay, we did it the opposite. So it should be minus 20 and then 20, right? Yep, now it's better, okay. So now you can see how great it looks. So now we can do another thing as well. Let's create a funky striped background, right? So first I'll select uh, maybe a greenish background and Take a rectangle and draw a full uh, this right, so you can see the green part. And then I'll take a much uh, lighter, okay, not selecting that, not selecting that. I'll take a much lighter uh, shade of green and then I'll make a, a thing like this. And I don't need any outline for both, even for this. Okay, 
so now I'll just uh, rotate it okay I'll just rotate it to be like a stripe and I'll move it here right now I'll just copy and put it here again copy and paste Control C, Control V. Right. So you can create the funky like a striped background. Right. So now you can see how great it looks on a striped background. Right. So now we will see the outline. Right. How to do the outline. So first, uh, we'll create a new block, stamp outline. But in this, we will need the run without screen refresh, right? We will need the run without screen refresh. So again, you can click on OK. Right, so first, we will set the rotation style to don't rotate. Right. Now what we'll do is we will set the brightness. So we will take this part, okay? We'll take this part and put it here. It will not be the same. We are gonna uh, move some things out. So first, we'll remove the ghost effect. We don't need that. Fine. Now we'll have a repeat loop, right? So we will repeat eight times. And in that repeat, so graphic effects will be out. And then here in that repeat, first what we'll do is uh, now we are not going to use the change y by instead we're going to use the move okay so we'll just remove this and only the stamp will be here so it's eight right we should repeat eight times eight times okay great now we'll first move three steps and then move minus three steps okay and now let's apply this stamp outline and see what happens. Uh, so you can see the outline, but it isn't so nice, right? So let's add a turn, the 45 degrees, save it, and then run it. Now it looks like an outline. Great. So it works on any levels or maybe anything, right? So let's create a new costume, uh, a level type. Okay, so first we'll erase all. And also we'll, what we'll do is for testing, we'll go to control, uh, no, events, and then when space key pressed, here, here. First we'll, what we'll do is uh, we'll create some borders. Like so for example, blue. So border here we'll create the border here and we'll set it to zero and zero right now we'll do here and right now we'll create some levels okay first let's click on this okay why can't we see this Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this is the boundary. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay, that's the size. You got that's because of the size. So reduce the size to your hundred. Okay, so now you can see that it's proper. So we'll just thicken this up a little. The boundaries. Okay. And then what we can do is create the level. So first we'll create a big box around here, okay, and we'll go to background position and do something like this, okay, uh, maybe that's enough, maybe this much, and then we'll also add a type of floating thing here, okay, that'll give a more nice effect. So now, uh, let's run it. Yahoo! So now you can see uh, we got our outline, shadow, and it worked, right? And before this, you can see the full outline, right? So it stamped it, but uh, to you, it seems like an outline and a shadow, right? So that's great.
even it can work on any other level for example uh this one say let's erase all space okay so we'll go with paint and we'll select a brownish color so brownish yeah yeah okay we'll just select a uh, maybe reddish color okay and then uh, i'll increase the size to 100 okay and then we'll do something like this like this okay. and then we'll uh, paint it with red as well okay so we need to first close it okay. that looks fine now i'll paint it great now we need to close this as well it now let's run it yep so you can see the outline and the shadow that's great so it can work on any level any text so now let me show you an example for text as well space to clear space to work now we'll do for example logo great now we'll just uh change the handwriting font and then just make your uh it makes it pop out right so now you can see it looks much much better right and you can also do for example uh blue so now you can see it's blue and uh there is one thing that stamping is not uh as high resolution as clones but uh that's the option we have to do or else doing it by hand will take a lot of time, right? So it works on any texts, any costumes, right? And then even any levels, right? So that's it guys about this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel and see you soon guys.